My name is Ailey Angus and I'm interviewing Dave Mackay for Saints TV. What has been your most memorable game and why? Most memorable game? I'd have to say both both the Rosenberg games at the beginning of the season. Um, nobody expected us to win those games. We, we managed to go over there and win one now. so probably the, the away game is the best result I've had in my career. What are your top three skills of being a defender? My skills, uh, I've probably not got three skills. Uh, I think as a defender, you need to be. I think you need to be vocal. You need to communicate quite well with the players in front of you and beside you. So uh, that's a big part of it. I think you have to be pretty physical, I suppose, and I think just read the game well as well. Can you please explain what it feels like going through the tunnel at the start of a game? Um, I've done it that many times now, I've probably done it over 500 times, so you get used to it a bit, but um, you know, you're just really thinking about just going out and try to perform as well as you can. How much of an honour is it to wear the captain's armband? Yeah, it's obviously a big honour to, to Captain St Johnston. Um, I've done it at, at previous clubs as well, but uh, it's great to, great to be the captain and lead the team out. What is the favourite stadium you've ever played in and why? Favourite stadium? I enjoy playing at Tynecastle, obviously other than the semi-final against Aberdeen, that wasn't a great day, but it's it's a good stadium to play at, the, the crowd's always right on top of you and there's always a good atmosphere there. Is there anybody who inspired you to play football? Um, I wouldn't say inspire me, probably, probably my dad. He, he loved his football and I don't think he ever really played football, but he always pushed me to, to try and achieve my goal and be a professional player, which thankfully happened. Who is the best player you've ever played with or against and what makes them so good? Probably the best player I've played with was when I was at Dundee, uh, Claudia Kinegia. He was an unbelievable player. He was coming to the end of his career, but just the, the quality he had and the pace he still had at that age was, was incredible. So as a young boy, to play with somebody like that was was amazing. The best player I've played against, probably Henrik Larsson at Celtic. He's a bit of a legend, obviously, for, for obvious reasons, the amount of goals he scored, but he was always a tough player to play against. When you were little, did you want to be a footballer or was it something else? No, it was always, always what I wanted to do. Is, from a young age, always out playing football with my friends, and that's the only thing I, I really. I'm glad I managed to do it, because otherwise I'd be struggling to, to find another job. But yeah, it was always something that I wanted to do. What is your all time favourite Saint strip? Strip? I don't know, to be honest. The, the one this year's not too bad. I quite like the, the new away top, although I wear long sleeves and they're no great, the long sleeve ones, because they're a bit loose at the end, you'd rather have them a bit tighter, but I think it's quite a nice looking strip, so I'll say that one. Do you see yourself finishing your career at St Johnston? Well, I hope so. Um, I'm nearing the end date just now. I'm, I'm getting on in years, 32 year old now, so yeah, it would it'd be nice to finish my career here and hopefully for a few years in my, yeah, left in me yet. Do you consider yourself good at karaoke? No, absolutely awful. I've certainly not got a, a singing voice, that's for sure. I think there's too many in the dressing room that could claim that they've got a decent voice either. If you had to go to a fancy dress party, what would you dress as? Um, we've had a few of them at the, the club. It's normally Christmas night out, it's our fancy dress. And the last one there, it was a, oh, it was, we were just wearing these moth suits. So, um, next one I'd go to. I don't know, it's quite a difficult one. It's normally just put uh, names into a hat and you, you pick out a random one, so you normally don't get a choice. If you had to star in one TV show, what would it be? TV show? Um, probably my favourite TV show growing up was The Simpsons, so just to be a character in that would be pretty cool. What would be your ideal car? Ideal car? Um, quite like the... A Range Rover, I wouldn't mind one of them, but unfortunately I'm about 70 grand too short of cash to get one of them, so it would be quite nice to drive something like that. If you had to take just three things to a deserted island, what would they be? Um, I'd have to be with my partner Laura, my, my son and my daughter, so pretty simple, but I'd take them. Do you have a favourite song? If so, what is it? Um, favourite song... I've not really got one, I'd say. I quite like uh, Imagine by John Lennon. Pretty good song, the, the lyrics in that, so I'd say that. What was your favourite childhood toy? 
it's got to be a football, it's the only thing I really played with, so I wasn't really into anything else. My brother was into certain different things, Lego and stuff like that, but it never really interested me. It was always just try to play football. If you had to invite three celebrities to dinner, who would they be? That's a good question. Difficult one. Um, God, you've got me there. I'll go for Kelly Brooks, just for just something to look at. Um, Barack Obama, just to see what he's got to say in, in world affairs. And my last one, um, I'll go Mike Tyson. He said he's had a bit of an eventful life. What is your favourite style of food? Style of foods? Probably say Indian in the last few years. Or it used to be Chinese, but I think Indian's taken over. Don't have them too often, mind you, but when I do, I quite enjoy them. Do you consider yourself a gadget man? Not at all, no, I'm not really into that kind of stuff. I think um, there's a few of the boys that, that spend a fortune on things like that, and new phones and computers and stuff like that. I'm not really into all that kind of stuff. I've probably the same phone for about three years, so no, I'm pretty boring that way. Thank you. No problem, thanks. Ailey just uh, interviewed Dave Mackay there. What was that like? Um, good. It was quite scary, but it was fun. And that was the first time you met him, so what, what was it like meeting him? Um, quite good to know he's the actual player that plays on the pitch and like see him all the time. So he's your, your favourite player, so why is he your favourite player? He's really good at defending and he always gives in 100% effort in every game and he's the captain and he's really good. Cool. And uh, you're a St Johnston fan, so how long do you support St Johnston for? Quite a while. The whole family is kind of like Saints fans, so yeah. Good. And what last one, what, what do you most enjoy about the, the football that's supporting St Johnston? It's a good club and good games and it's my perfect club, so yeah.